Yeah. Okay, we're good. So, I'm back. I've been busy as hell, which is why I haven't made a video in forever. But, you know what? I have seen Avatar yesterday, and that movie was freaking awesome. Okay? Yeah. Set, the story has a set formula, and you, you stereotypical characters, really, and stuff, but who cares? This movie was awesome. It was beautiful to look at. I was looking at scenery. I don't look at scenery often, okay? I could oversell this movie so easily and just say how much I loved it. Because, you know what? I do. This movie was great. It was not perfect, but... I defy you to come up with the perfect movie because no, Godfather Part Two isn't perfect, and Aliens is a little long. But yeah, on on to the movie. So the story is of Jake Sully, who's a crippled ex-marine, and he goes to Pandora to find a new life to help and participates in the Avatar. Go watch. No, screw this. I'm not going to tell you the story. Go watch the trailer. It tells you the story. And it okay. Now, to compare this movie to set-up films, I would have to say it's Dances with Wolves meets Pocahontas meets New World meets the opening scene where they kill the deer and kill it and they're like, Brother, your spirit is free now to go with the Mother Earth, but we will eat your body. Thank you for giving us your life. That scene meets... um. Hayao Miyazaki's Princess Mononoke. Wrapped in a giant ball of awesome, then dipped in Jim Cameron's special effects crack. Yeah, that's the movie. And that probably made zero sense, but whatever. Okay, the acting was good overall. There wasn't really a bad performance in the movie. Giovanni Ribisi played the corporate douche bat perfectly because that's not really hard but Sigourney Reaver was good in it uh, Sam Worthington was good in it I wasn't expecting much from him because of Terminator Salvation but really that was more the director's slash writer's fault for that movie sucking but yeah um, I, I'll be a I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm hesitantly optimistic about him and the Clash of the Titans movie overall I saw the trailer again for it in 3D back at for during the previews and it still looks like an unfilmed Iron Maiden movie music video which well I love Iron Maiden so that's not a bad thing and yeah they're deviating from the original movie and all that crap but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there so yeah um, Stephen Lang who played Colonel Quadrich and as he's been in a lot of movies recently. He was in, he was in um, Public Enemies and The Men Who Stare at Goats. I did not I saw Public Enemies. I did not see Men Who Stare at Goats. I want to though. Uh, he was good in this movie. He was pretty badass. You were like I did not like him and I was but he was a badass, man. Uh, Zoe Saldana who plays Natiri, which is the uh, who is a Navi? Who's one of the like twelve foot blue people? Uh, she was great in that, great in this, and I'm so, and all her stuff was motion capped, and my phone just got a text message. Okay, anyway, and whole all her stuff was motion captured too, which was great. The effects were awesome. Now the hype around this movie was basically Jesus himself, or some, or whatever deity or figure you'd like will come out of the screen give you a high five and we'll, you'll go and party that didn't happen the effects are great though okay 80 percent there are moments where i'm just one i'm just like wow that is a beautiful picture and two excuse me that it looked real Okay, most most of the time when it's CG, I'm like, that's not real, but it's CG because they are obviously can't be up in space and filming. But there are times where I'm like, wow, that looks real. Like, I could go out and touch it, and it's tangible, and it's real. And really, I think that comes down to how you like things. But, yeah. 
the effects, 80% of the time, effects were great and they looked real. Then the other 20% where you're like, eh, that's, that's definitely CG, but it was still awesome. There's a scene when the, the big final epic battle happens and all the, the like, the, the airship armada is coming around, the sun's in the background. I'm just like, and me and my dad were both like, oh, yeah. And I marked out during this movie. I don't do that. I mark out at MMA during MMA fights and wrestling. Okay? Not at movies. At movies, I'm like, hmm, thinking about it. Analyzing it. This, I, was, I just sat back and was like, uh, yeah. Okay? That's why this, I, um, yeah, it's a 9.5. I saw this in 3D. You need to see this in 3D. You don't don't see this in 2D. See this in 3D. Go to IMAX. Go to what the plaza down here in Riverside shows 3D, and even Universal University Village has 3D. Okay, see this in 3D. You need to see this in 3D. It's an extra like five bucks, I think, at my theater, but it's worth it. I want to go see it again. It was just, I was, it was awesome. <laughs> Uh, this is an absolutely like terrible review because I'm just saying how awesome this movie is, but I don't care. I I left with the feeling of <laughs> yay, okay. Like I could, uh, I I felt sort of like seeing Star Trek for the first time, the the J J Abrams one. I came out, I was like, this is what Star Wars should have been, the prequels, or like not should have been because I I like the Star Wars prequels. I know that makes me a heathen. And like Blasphemer for saying I like them, but I like those. They they're good movies. Yeah, Hayden Christensen sucks as an actor. So what? None of the actors aside from Harrison Ford were good in those movies. Moving on. Yeah, it just uh, like things. Big sci-fi movies could are going to be different now. Now let's. I got two minutes left, so time to wrap this up. Okay, the story has a set formula but that's a good thing because i could tell where it was going to go and it was very heavy-handed and saying oh this is what throwing up red flags hey hint hint this they just hey this could possibly happen here but that's a good thing because man i don't want to have to be like trying to figure shit out i, I wanted to sit back and look at this okay I wanted. I hated it when he'd come out of the Avatar body or come out of the machine, because I wanted to see Pandora, because that was awesome. I liked looking at the movie. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a tad slow at times, but yeah, whatever. Movies are slow sometimes. The action's great. Um, the the trailer makes it look like there's a what I'd call Battle of Endor times about ten moment and there are two there it yeah battle of okay think um there are three my three favorite giant battle scenes and movies are the favorite one is the battle of helm's deep from lord of the rings Endor was pretty big and epic so yeah and then i can't think of my third at the moment so crap but whatever um yeah it's like it just an explosion of awesome in your face. So thank goodness the story was simple and not like Watchmen or something. Because, man, whew, it was awesome. There's like uh, at the end there in the credits, I don't know if that was Celine Dion singing or not, but it sounded like I'm going to call it My Heart Will Go On version 2.0. So, yeah, but it's the credits. I'll fast forward to that or just turn off the movie when I'm done watching it. Um, it is heavy, very heavy-handed and formulaic, but that's not a bad thing because, man, if it was subtle like the 3D, then I think a lot of people would be wondering what this movie's about. And yeah, there's political overtones and crap like that in the movie, but whatever. That's what Dances with Wolves and stuff was about, too. And, yeah. So if you, look for, if you don't like it because of its political overtones or undertones... Or you could draw comparisons with it. You're a dumbass. Like I would get, I give you the middle finger because, man, it's much more than that. Just enjoy the movie. Simple as that. Nine point five. 
This should get a best picture now because they got 10 choices now and they need to fill spots. Yeah, 